If I said to you, go out today and try to find some UFOs, you would more than likely go outside and look up into the sky, right? <laughs> most, most people would. But lately, I've been more and more intrigued about the ocean because there has been loads of reports. And in fact, some people actually say that the UFOs have and, and aliens have never left us. They've never been in the sky, never been in space. They're here underwater. And today's video, I'm going to show you loads and loads of videos of UFOs and aliens in the water, in the ocean. Okay, this, wait, what I found is absolutely crazy. And also, I found out this today. Did you know that Christopher Columbus, the explorer and navigator in the 1500s, he, right, I'm going to read this. Listen to this. Listen. The most unusual thing that Columbus says that he saw was a glowing object coming out of the water and shooting towards the sky. Many people think that he must have been, it must have been a, a light on the shore or from another ship. However, some people believe that Columbus saw a UFO. Mate, I didn't know that. Did you know that? That must have been one of the first ever reports of a UFO, apart from the pyramids, right? But mate, I just thought that was crazy. So then I started looking into it, mate. And when I say deep dive, it's ironic, isn't it? Dive into the ocean, deep dive. I've got, I've got loads of stuff I want to show you, okay? I'm going to be showing you some UFO videos. Some of you are going to say it's fake. Some of you are going to say it's real. We don't know, but you can't deny that some of these videos in here, mate, are absolutely, like, something's going on, okay? First of all, let's go with the UAP filmed by the US Navy over the Pacific Ocean. Check this out. Right, here we go. Wait for the grand finale. Look off. Okay. Look at it track it. Look, it's tracked. Bang. Wait. Break Omaha. Pick me, kid. Rafael Pearl's the pass ability to launch Kilo ASAP. Launch Kilo? K Kilo? Is that a weapon? Are they going to shoot it? Well, I've seen the video. They don't. They don't shoot it. But look, how? What is? Is a? Is it kilo or helo? Kilo, a weapon. Weapon. Mul multiplayer. The kilo one four one. Oh, that's cod. Okay. He said. He either said kilo or helo. I'm not too sure. Any of you military people in there know about the weapons? What is? What did he say? And are they about to shoot the thing? Got you in three Keep going, bro. <laughs> I'm going, bro. Look, ready? Yeah, that brings it. We got some a lot of white water up there. Six foot swells. Whoa, it's getting close. Yeah. Yeah, we have a uh, 31 knots sustained wind, top side, gust of 40. Look, look. What was splashed? Splash. Splashed. Mark bearing and range. What the hell? Mate, like, that's just crazy. And what makes me wonder about the way we say splash splashed, right? Because where I've done a video about my favorite video of all time, UFO video, is when they're on the boat and a UFO's hovering, drops three drones and it splashes underneath the water. When I showed everybody that, when I showed you guys that, people were like, Ben, UFOs don't make a splash. I'm like, what? Really? Who, who told you that? Like, where did you get that info from that UFOs don't splash? I mean, maybe they're like divers. You know, these like really good divers that do somersaults and then they, they, they get in the water so precisely that they hardly make a splash. Maybe they're just so streamlined, they, they, they don't make much of a splash. But surely if something's that, that big and heavy and metal or whatever it is, I know it's alien technology, but... I'm sure it would make some sort of splash or ripple at least. But I don't know. Is that their terminology for something going underwater? Or do they actually see a splash? Look. You can't, splash. You can't, you can't make heads or tail out of that. Anyway, I thought that was a good one to start it off. But mate, oh, don't worry because it goes even deeper than this, mate. I'm, this is just going to be a whole collage of different bloody UFO 
uh, um, uh, videos. Right. My God, man. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, going back to what Christopher Columbus said about a glowing light underwater and comes out of the water and fires off into the sea. This made me think of this one, and I hunted it down. Check this out. Very strange and unexpected situation. Hey, that's James. That's James' voice. That's Mission, that Mission Impossible. That is Impossible Channel. Very strange and unexpected situation. I think, uh... Look a couple of weeks that. ago, two fishermen were located in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, in a region known as Bridge Surf Beach. As you can see in Google Maps, this is a very shallow area, very popular as a surfing spot. Yo, Usually, dude. you'll never find divers or anything like that in this specific spot of the beach. And this is precisely where a couple of fishermen were a few weeks ago when they spotted something really strange in the water. Check this out. Look at that! See, my initial thought was divers, you know? Um, some sort of maybe a glow stick or something so the divers can see where they've got to swim up to, where the location is for the boat. But that ain't, mate. That's too big. What at first looks like some sort of luminous phenomenon can be seen just a few meters away from their boat. Look! In hopes of figuring out exactly what this thing is, the two fishermen now approach this mysterious luminous object carefully. Because I know also that there is um, that plankton, right? That glows up when you move it. When you disturb it, it glows up, which absolutely lo looks beautiful. But I don't think that that's not it. <laughs> Look at that, mate! Get down there! Dive down there! It seems that the more they approach it, the more mysterious it becomes. It's not algae. It's actually like nothing they had ever seen before. And now completely baffled, the two fishermen decide to follow this thing around just a little bit more. Oh, so it's moving! And this is what happens next. Check this out. <laughs> What the hell? I remember now. What? Mate, that reminds because I've saved something else as well. That just follows on. Hang on, I wanted to show you some more of like okay, hang on, let me just show you. Did I? I think I saved another one. Here, here's another one. Look. You won't believe it, but this UFO video was recorded in St. Petersburg. Fl Just wait, because that person floating about. I'm going to show you another video. Hang on. Watch this. In 2022, and according to the witness, he saw the object actually dive into the water. He said that he waited outside of the water for a while for it to come out, but it never did. And believe it or not, he actually called it an extraterrestrial. Those are his words, not mine. But anyways, like and follow for real footage of the unknown. To be fair, that one could have been a diver. It didn't seem like the other one. But mate, right, okay. Let me show you this, what I saw. Um, is it this one? I think it's this one. Siberia, 1982. Yeah, 1982 in Siberia, mate. Check this. Russian Navy divers are conducting a research mission. Seven Russian divers are at a depth of 50 meters. When suddenly... The frogmen realize they are being watched. These strange humanoid figures were much bigger than human beings. These were large beings. Them! Doesn't that look very similar to the. Hang on. Watch. 
Mate, look at his head. Look at his head there, right? And then look. <gasps> imagine, mate. Imagine. Sorry, I'm really excited. I've got to calm down. I'm really excited. I just, I just love in real time cl clicking all this together. <laughs> We're much bigger than human beings. These were large beings, human shape, but like nine feet tall, wearing what seemed like very tight fitting silvery suits. Not your normal scuba gear, basically. And reports are always saying that they're like nine foot tall. These aliens are like nine foot tall. Imagine seeing something nine foot tall, mate. Have you ever seen a basketball player? Right? I haven't. Not an NBA basketball player, but I imagine they're bloody, bloody tall. What are they, seven foot, some of them? Yeah? Two foot more on top of that. Basically, swimming in the water, what they've come to call the swimmers of Lake Baikal. What were these creatures? Why did they not seem to use what we would be using to sustain life? There were no oxygen tanks. So there are lots of interesting facets to this. You have creatures that are underwater and surviving with technology that we don't comprehend. The Russian divers then make a fateful decision. They try to capture one. The divers attempted to capture one of these creatures, but at this point, so the documents... Would you honestly... Cap I don't know about that. You actually thought that you could capture multiple... Or I know they said one of them, but it's like... Would you try to capture a nine-foot being, that, like a humanoid being... When the other, when the other, when their mates are right around them, would you do that? I don't know, mate. Hey, the entities reacted. A powerful unknown force suddenly propels the entire group of divers up from the deep water to the surface. They did a rapid rise to the surface of the water. Well, when you do that too fast, you suffer from decompression and you get the bends, and yeah. it's deadly. There were seven of these divers, and three of them died, and four were very severely injured as a result of this. Mate, they died. They died. Jeez Louise, man. Yeah, we're going to talk about Sweden as well, right? We're going to talk about Sweden because there's some strange stuff going on with Sweden, mate, on another level. But let, check this one out. Like, when, when you see UFO footage, a lot of it can be maybe, oh, that's CGI or it's, or it's a plane or it's a blimp or whatever, mate. You try and explain this. Not the beginning bit, like, but watch near the end mate you can't explain this this has got to be ufos okay i'm gonna put this camcorder down Come out. Just wait. 1994. There was another video where he said, that's not the sun. I was like, no, it, it clearly is the sun, mate. Look. They're either being surrounded by frigging UFOs or the Coast Guard. Mate, what the hell is that? I want to send there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 11, 12, 13 lights we see there. They've been coming on, they were seven lines. Right, okay, listen, he's on a boat, okay, and it's fairly rough. It's seven of them, mate. Seven of the bloody things. You can't tell me that's not a UAP, UFO, whatever you call them nowadays, all right? And what are they doing? It's just in broad daylight. Oh yeah, aliens checking out Liguana Beach.
mate. That's mad. And also, you'll be happy to know, right, that I enhanced this. Well, somebody in comments said, Ben, you should get these and do like an AI enhancement. I did. Thank you so much. Here we go. So I took a, I took a, I took a bit of a close up. I should have done it even closer, really. Hang on. But look. I should have done it. I should have done it even closer. But look at that. It's almost got, you can almost just pick out a shine to that now, can't you? I know it's more, it's not, it's not the best. Bit of an anticlimax to be fair, but <laughs> it's, it's better, right? Look at it. That's crazy. Right, so we're going to work towards Sweden now, okay? And we're going to go from out of the water to under the water, right? Now, there's something here that I want to show you. I don't think it's alien. However, these people are saying it's alien. But there isn't much things underwater that can take out a shark, mate. Look at this. Alien sea creature attacks shark. I think it's just because it says alien. But look, what is this? Instead of the shark swimming out, something else swims in to join them. Something that marine biologists have never seen before. You see the shark swimming around. And then all of a sudden... Bye! What is that? The creature attaches itself to the shark, and the shark starts thrashing around, but we can't tell what exactly it is. You can see this creature latch on to the shark, to the face of the shark. It is not another shark. It looks like a prehistoric creature with a giant mouth, and it's biting off the shark's head. There's so many mysteries about the ocean. The ocean is the most unexplored place yeah. in the whole world. I wanted to show you it because when we think about aliens, most of the time we think about nine foot, like tall, slim greys. Yeah, those types of aliens. But I, supp I suppose yeah. under the sea, they're all alien, aren't they? Alien just means, what's the definition of alien? Alien just means unknown, right? Yeah, that's that's the word, unfamiliar. Right, um, okay, so I wanted to show you that because, like I say, it's unfamiliar. It could be something. Imagine, like, different types of aliens underwater taking out sharks, mate. So a lot of times we talk about America having loads of um, UFOs, um, Peru, you know, alien sightings, UFO, UFO sightings. The UK has quite a lot as well. I didn't know that Sweden, mate, is going to another level and also maybe the home of the aliens. Mate, look at this. Right, first of all, there's this viral UFO video coming around at the moment. This is crazy. Oh, I might enhance this one. Hang on. Look at this. That just looks like a very stereotypical... Oh, my... Mate, mate, mate. I'm gonna... Hang on. Print. I'm printing that. I'm gonna enhance this bad boy. Look at it. It's such a stereotypical UFO, right? Holy moly! I'm, I'm saving it again. Why is it black and white? A lot of people saying man-made. But see, that's, that, that, it just sort of annoys me. When something's grainy as F, people are like, oh, why is it always grainy? And then when you get like pretty clear footage, be like, man-made, fake. <laughs> right, okay. Let me, um, let me just, let me just, Try and enhance this bad boy a minute. But just wait, mate, because what goes on in Sweden? <laughs> it's incredible. Right, hang on. Huh? Heads up. You've utilized over 80% of your compute time. What? Oh no, you're joking. Upgrade. AI enhance image free. Create an account to start processing. F you, man. 
Here we go. Here's one. Oh, it doesn't really do much. Maximum enhancement, please! That's all right, isn't it? Going from that to that. Well, sort of. This is blurred it, I think, really. <laughs> so once I start looking at Sweden, the UFOs over there, mate, and then I saw this one. This hasn't got many, many views, but it's quite intriguing. Could be fake, could be real. You decide, you check this out, look. Later on, they stabilize the image, right? Did you see that? Hang on. It looks fake as F. But wait till they stabilize it and zoom in, mate. Look. Like, that's what makes me think it's real because there's a little glint of shine. I, I know, I know. It could, it might not be. How the, how the sun just hits it, like, you know? Like, Sweden's going off with this at the moment. Oh. I didn't see the rest of that. Right, so the reason why I looked at Sweden, okay, is because I came across this. I was like, no way! No way! Look! In June 2011, the OceanX team, renowned for their daring underwater explorations, unveiled a discovery that would ignite global fascination. The Baltic Sea anomaly is a perplexing enigma, nestled at a depth of 300 feet in the Baltic Sea between Sweden and Finland, immediately defied conventional explanation. Featuring a circular, disc-shaped formation adorned with straight lines and right angles, the anomaly has become the focal point of fervent interest and wild speculation. While some scientists cautiously suggest natural geological origins, others are captivated by the possibility of a more exotic explanation, ranging from sunken ancient civilizations to extraterrestrial technology. As intrepid investigations including sonar- Wait a second, because it gets creepy, listen a minute mapping and physical sampling unfold, reports of electronic equipment interference near the anomaly have only deepened the mystery. Despite the challenges posed by the treacherous underwater conditions, the quest for answers continues, with the tantalizing enigma of the Baltic Sea anomaly standing as one of modern exploration's most thrilling puzzles. Mate, I didn't know that. But what's crazy is when they went closer to it, all their electronic equipment just went haywire. And then when they, when they moved away, it was right again. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's natural, mate. Because if you heard that, that there's, there's no straight lines in nature, look how many straight lines this thing's got. It's made from straight lines. <laughs> what is that? I think that's an artist's impression, that one. But that there, that's the real thing. That's the real McCoy. Look at these steps going up to it. What the hell? And people were saying it's like the Falcon. It's like the Falcon from Star Wars. Is that what they call it? The Falcon from Star Wars? I'm not really into Star Wars. Mate, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. And then I saw this. I st like I say, mate, I was going all, all in on this underwater stuff. Look at this. What's that? It looks, it looks like a, a light, a ray of light, but light doesn't travel like that. Mate, I'm telling you, there's some weird stuff going on in the sea, right? Some really weird stuff. What's this one? Look, that's it. 
that shit comes out of the water, did it? Wait. That thing, that thing's coming out of the water. Mate, this is so... Un like, the more that I look into this, the more I actually think that aliens... Uh, I mean, are this. I, I gotta show you this. This is fake as F. But is it? You know? Again, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm complaining other people are doing, right? Because it's so crystal clear, I'm thinking, nah, fake. But... A lot of people saying this is like from a movie set or something like that. But look at this. Right? Imagine if this is legit. <laughs> Imagine if that's legit. You see inside it now. Christ, that's loud. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I am. I'm. I'm calling bullshit on that one. I don't know. This this thing here just seems very like if an eighties movie said, "Yeah, we need to we need to make a a futuristic computer." <laughs> that's what they would use. And that's probably just a calculator or something. <laughs> I've got. I found some others, mate. I really want to show you this one. I really want to show you this one, but it's nothing to do with water, so I'm not going to. I'm going to save it for another video. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you, mate. Some freaky deaky UFO stuff about the ocean. What do you reckon? Are UFOs in the ocean as well as in space? Or are they just in the ocean? Or are they just in space? Or are they none at all? And it's all just an elaborate hoax. Okay? Right. You decide. You tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And please hang around, man. Because we've got some more freaky deaky aliens, UFOs, strange things happening around the world. And of course, the paranormal. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.